Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing these Parku markers. Big thanks to Parku for sending me and sponsoring today's video. Let's get started. These literally look like Sharpies. Ah. So this is the 36 set. And these are all the color. They look so cool. I'm gonna pick one out. Of course I'm gonna grab the pink. This is what the markers look like. They look like the Sharpie markers. Let me see. Let me compare it. Here's the Sharpie. And then there's the Parku. They look very similar. The only difference, honestly, is the barrel. This one's like an off-white color. And this one's more of a gray color. Okay, so I'm going to like pull everything out. And then we'll test these. I feel like, should I pull everything out? Ah! I feel like it's going to get all messed up when I pull it out. But I kind of want to. Let's take it out. Oh. There's the little packaging. It's just a little plastic thing. A little bit wobbly. So let's go ahead and look at the markers. I wonder if they smell like Sharpies. Oh, it actually smells pretty good. What does it smell like? I don't know. <laughs> Why am I asking you guys? Okay, it doesn't smell. Oh, okay, I'm sniffing markers. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't have. It has a good odor. Odor. <laughs> I feel like odor is like a bad word. That's good. I forgot to show you guys the nib, but there's the nib. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep comparing them to Sharpies. Oh, so it's longer and sharper than the Sharpie. <laughs> That's fun. Let's see. Let's blend our green colors. I'm gonna grab this green here. Oh, we can have like an in between color as well. Okay. I'm gonna blend three markers. It's already blending so well. Oh, look at that. Look at that blend. That is a really, really good blend. All right, so that's three markers. These are the colors I blended here. That one. So now let's see, I want to test and see if these markers are going to smudge with my liners. So while we let this dry, let's see how these markers look compared to their caps. I'm going to start off with a light color. Starting with this one here. And the color is off. This one here seems a bit lighter. Here it's really vibrant. That color match is not a very good okay here's the, the blue oh this is pretty take a look oh this one is a good blend not a good blend this one is a good match let's see a dark color now I forgot to overlap these oh that is a good match okay so it matches a lot more when you overlap it nope 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 okay Let's see. Oh, this one looks so pretty. Here's another light color. Let's take a look. Oh, that is a good match. I'm actually really surprised. That is a really good match. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this one does not match. I can tell like straight away. It's a lot more vibrant on there compared to here. But look how cute and pastel this color is. This one here, it seems to be a bit more orange on here compared to what's on the nib. Should we try a yellow? I feel like yellow is hard to get wrong. Yeah, that's a pretty good match. I think yellow is pretty hard to get wrong. Ooh, this is a really pretty brown. It seems, I don't know which one it matches more, the dark one or the light one. So that's it for my color caps. Some of the colors match, some of them don't match. I guess it's up to you to do like your own color sheet. I'm gonna be all over this color. All right, so I'm grabbing my pink color. We're just gonna see if this smudges. Gucci, oh, that's good. Okay, I don't see any kind of smudging on here. 
And no smudges on this one here. Okay. This brown here, I was thinking about using it for her skin, but that's a little too gray. That's a little too ashy. These two here are pretty good. And then, so these are the two colors I'm planning on using for her skin. I still don't know what I want to do for her hair, though. This is what I'm going to be coloring in today's video. It's just a girl in her swimsuit. Even though summer is almost over. I will have the link in the description to where you can print this out and color. So this is what the final piece turns out. There you go. There's not much when it comes to like natural skin tones, but this color here looks really nice. It's a little bit streaky, like I can see that over here. But besides that, the piece came out really nice and I really enjoyed using these markers. Parku did give me a discount code for like a short period of time. So I will leave it in the description to where you guys can find a link to these markers if you're interested in them and a coupon code. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys liked today's video. 
and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, thanks for watching. I actually really, really want to do a comparison video between these two markers, so stay tuned for that, and we'll see how it goes.